क्यों श्री वरुण गांधी on the 14th of april 2010 i along with some uh, legislators and political workers from my party visited uh, the villages uh, and homes of the families of five slain martyrs in the districts bulandshahar and gautam budnagar in western uttar pradesh 47 people out of these 76 in uttar pradesh uh, have been martyred in this horrific massacre what i saw sir shook me to my day ko ji 43 ba 43 sorry 43 out of 76 people i went to sir the tehsils of khurja jevar bulandshahar anupshahar and agota i learned from the first village sir called bodha that no representation from either the union or the state government had initiated any contact with them personally uh, they had no idea that the world was even aware of their deep suffering neither the chief minister of uttar pradesh or any minister or any member of the union government or even in fact their local mp or mla had bothered to meet them in their grief they sat in darkness completely isolated as i went to the second village called pachhota i sat near the brave young martyr's widow with his 3 year old son on my lap as he asked me where his father was i asked myself what should i tell him should i tell him of his father's bravery would it mean anything to him the larger question sir is not whether it would mean anything to that 3 year old child but does the bravery of that soldier that protector of our liberties of our democracy does his shahadat does his martyrdom does it mean anything to our larger system and i'm not just talking about the government here because this is not really a time to do politics does it mean anything to the india of today or have we become so cynical as a nation that every death every martyrdom today has just become a statistic that we can gloss over that we can take for granted in the third village i went to sir they told me of their desire to erect a statue to celebrate the martyr's bravery to honor his memory they have been told that no public funds can be allocated for this it is a sad day for indian democracy when state governments have the money to build statues of their living leaders with handbags but not of martyred sons of the soil same same, same. no financial assistance has been given to them as yet why because of bureaucratic red tape when we have to wait for a driving license because of red tapeism we will wait when we have to wait for a telephone connection because of loopholes within the system we will grin and bear it but when we have to watch our martyrs wait in silence for weeks and months at a time for what they deserve rather a pittance compared to what they deserve then we cannot and should not bear this sir henry david thoreau once said the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation this is not an issue to play politics with as i said earlier but the nation must fight for those who have fought with every drop of their blood to protect it my suggestion is that immediately a member of each family be given a permanent government job some land from the gram sabha from the gram samaj the mother of each martyr should be given a lifelong pension this is something that i think the nda government did during the kargil war after it that the mother of each martyr was given a lifelong pension and there should be assistance given to build a small memorial in their respective villages 
this would breed a nationalist spirit amongst our youth. Also, sir, immediately the CRPF should be given insurance in high-risk areas like the army is. I pray that as a system, we act, act swiftly and act strongly for these brave sons of the soil. Jai Hind. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. P.